Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and White. Here we are with part two of our Goodwill Blue Box from um, Nashville, Tennessee. Yesterday's video was pretty good, I thought. There was some interesting finds. Um, there's going to be some really good finds in this one. So hopefully you enjoy it also. Whether you enjoy these boxes or hate these boxes or you're somewhere in between, we appreciate you watching. I know everybody likes a little bit of something different, and I do too. I don't want to get uh, stagnant or bored or any of us not enjoying what we're doing. I just love jewelry, and I hope you do too. So let me introduce us. I am Marilyn. My husband's name is Barry and we are resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. So we give discounts um, and first dibs to our subscribers. And all you have to do, if you see something that interests you, send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com. We'll send you a PayPal invoice. Um, in your email to us, be sure that you send us your mailing address, a screenshot of what a screenshot or timestamp of what you are looking for, and be sure that you um, send us your mailing address and uh, your f full name for us to be able to hold something for you. And um, shipping is five dollars in the United States. Um, under a pound, anything over a pound or outside the United States is based on where you're located. And let me think, is there anything else I'm missing? Um, I don't think so. So let's just go right over to the jewelry. Hopefully you, you will enjoy it. Oh, one thing I did want to say is I am not an expert. I am just a jewelry lover. So I might get things wrong. I don't pretend to be the know-all of everything. So be sure to keep that in mind when you're watching. And if you see something that's incorrect, definitely send it to us in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get to the jewelry. Okay, so let's see. Is this, this one says 925, so we're going to test this one. So I'm not sure if it is. Mm, looks like it. That part doesn't. Just the class books sterling. I'm gonna test this one also. That one doesn't either. Okay, the chain on this is not sterling. However, the clasp um, is sterling. It is 16 inches, so I'm just gonna say um, $3 on that. And this one is really cool. It's just silver tone, it's twisted links. It's really cool, and it is long. Uh, it is... Sixty-eight inches. That is really, really cool. So on this one, I'm gonna say ten dollars because that's a really cool piece, vintage. And this one, let's see. Yeah, it's just glass, and it is on um, leather. It's really short, so it's a choker of just uh, 11 inches with a four inch extension. So I'm just gonna say $2. On one side, it's just a lot of rhinestones. On the other, it's a heart. Now we're going to look at all the bits and pieces and there's a lot. So I'm gonna start by taking out the bangles. Okay, I think I got them all. So let's see what we have. First off, let's see if there's any alike. We can do this one. This is just a leather and straw. It's adjustable, but it's unraveling on this end. So just a dollar. We 
We have this painted metal pink um, bracelet. It's unsigned. It's eight inches, so a dollar. This one's pretty. It's rhinestone. Let's see if it's signed. All right, no signature. Let's see if it has any missing rhinestones. It has one dark rhinestone right there. Other than that, in really good condition. And it is an eight and a quarter. So there you go. So I'm just gonna say a dollar on that one. And then this one, no signature on it either. And it's just um, metal magnetic. So that one's kind of pretty. So I'm gonna say a dollar on that one too. And then we've got This one that has a heart on it. And the heart is um, rhinestones with a spot for a key. It is magnetic, but I'm gonna do a dollar on that one because that one's really cool. Okay, I'm putting all of these together. So it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven in total. And um, I'm just gonna say um, four dollars for the eleven. Bangles. I have them all in a bag, so those are stick together. Um, this one, as I said, was missing its tone, so it's just going to be. Um, I'll throw it in if anybody buys the bangles. These two are nine inches. This one's not magnetic. This one is. So I'm going to do the two of these for a dollar. The three of these and this um, uh, sparkly stuff is coming off. So the three of these for a dollar. And this one, gold tone, um, not magnetic, and I'm gonna do a, a dollar on that one. <laughs> and this is all our bits and pieces. Is that crazy? That is a lot. So I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly, see if we have any matches and um, see what we can find. This piece, um, pretty, but it doesn't have a bag. Um, it's no ring or anything. It's just nothing, um, like no hardware on the back. So I'm just gonna say a dollar on the flower with the um, citrine colored uh, rhinestone. That's interesting. Just a brooch, um, and it's a face. It's pretty large. It is um, two and three fourths of an inch by one and three fourths of an inch. So I'm just gonna say a dollar on that, and it's like um, just a metal. This one is like um, just metal square with a cabochon that's plastic in the middle. It's a brooch. It is two and an eighth of an inch by um, one and five eighths of an inch, so a dollar. These are matches, these are double hoops, and they are uh, two and a half inches, so I'm just gonna say a dollar, and they um, are the kind that just uh, clicks into the bar, and
They are magnetic. So just a dollar. We have a brooch here, unsigned. It's a, a puffy heart. No missing, oh, one missing rhinestone right there. So just a dollar for the heart. This one is pretty, it's like a little charm with a lobster glass. And on one side it says, um, it has a butterfly, silver tone and gold tone. And on the back side it says, if nothing ever changes, there'd be no butterflies. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna say $2 for the butterfly. We have a little ring here that has um, barefoot and toes. It is adjustable, so it is a toe ring, so you can move it to any size. And most of the time those are stroke. Here we have a brooch. Um, it's got a lot of glue on it, so I'm just gonna say a dollar. A cool lion. Okay, this one's a match, but it needs to have its um, little piece hooked up. It looks like this one, but these are really nice and heavy, so I'm gonna say, um, those are pretty. So I'm gonna say $2 on these. Oh, well, these match. But I'm just gonna say a dollar on these, but these are pretty. These are glass little pieces on here, but they're pretty, so I'm just gonna say a dollar on those. Look at this cute little crown. It's a pen. Um, there's the back, it's a little pen. So just a dollar on the crown. Okay, there is a lot of earrings, no matches. That one's pretty um, with the glass beads. This is a um, clip-on um, with red um, beads. Um, Druzy. Um, a green and gold. But none of these um, have matches. However, some of them are interesting. This is a little pen. It's a Precious Moments pen, Angel. So I'm going to just do a dollar for the Precious Moments. Um, this one is really cool. I think that would be a great pendant with the lion. And it's two-sided. It's the back of the lion and the front. So I'm just going to say $2 on the lion. Here we have a Liberty Dine from 1940. Um, which is cool, and um, I'm going to say $5 for the Liberty Dime, and it is sterling, and um, then we just have some mismatched pieces. This one's pretty. I think this one could be a really nice um, pendant or brooch, and it is, uh, looks like it's broken on the um, leaf ends, so... Um, says Japan on it. Um, so I'm just going to put it in with the um, bits and pieces. Um, some glass bulbs, um, a little bit of chain. Let's look at the earrings now. There's some rhinestones I'm just putting in with them. More chain. Okay. Bits and pieces I'm going to put all in one bag. I mean, there are some little cute earrings in here like that. This bow is cute with rhinestones. That one's pretty. So this is actually nice. Whoever gets this is going to have some nice pieces. Um, dice. And I'll weigh this after we go through these rings and see if any of these are going to be added to it. 
Um, that looks like a real penny. Um, 1976. It is not, it's adjustable. It is set right now to a size six and a half, but that's gonna go in the bits and pieces. Um, this one's cool with these markings on it. It is just faux. Um, it's a nine and a half and um, it is not magnetic, so let me look real quick. No, it's got a lot of copper. So I'm just gonna say a dollar on this ring. Um, this one, um, just faux triangle. It is a size six. So I'm gonna say a dollar for that one. Um, pretty faux ring. It is a size, it's green, it's a size seven. You can see the brass coming through on the back. So I'm gonna just say a um, dollar. Here is that um, barefoot toe ring. Let's see. No, it's got brass in it. So um, that's gonna go in the bits and pieces. This one's pretty, but it has a lot of brass coming through it. Um, so I'm going to say it's going to go in the bits and pieces. This is pretty. Pink and um, clear rhinestones. It is says something. It says 925 with a mark. Let's see if it is. No, it's a faker. So that's gonna go in the bits and pieces. That's a nice one. Let's see. It's a size eight. I'm actually gonna put that as just a dollar, the faker. Um, this one doesn't say anything. It's just a band. It's a size seven. It's going in the bits and pieces. This one is pretty, um, like so. It is a seven and a quarter, so I'm gonna say a dollar. This one, what is that? Hmm. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe I'm just tired. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> so um, this is a size six and I'm putting it in bits and pieces. And then the last one says something. Has a mark, 14 karat gold. Right, let's test this one because it says 14 karat gold. <laughs> that's funny out of all of this stuff our very last piece is a 14 karat gold diamond um, ring here is a presidium and there's your diamond it is channel set. With lots of little diamonds. Let me see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Channel set diamonds. 14 karat gold. How cool is that? And it's still there. It has it faded? That is really nice. And it is a size six. Let's weigh it. 
2.2. Okay, with the gold and the 11 um, princess cut diamond channel set, I'm going to say let's do 175 for the ring. It's a size 6. Um, pretty cool that the very last piece in the box is our absolute best piece. So not too bad. And that is why I love doing these boxes. So it's zero. There's the bag. It's 14.6. So I'm going to say let's do... Um, I'm going to say $10 for the bag. So there you go. And anything that isn't sold by Friday on the sold list, um, I'm going to sell the entire box of everything that's left over for um, uh, $25, not including the diamond ring. Um, so there you go. Um, if the diamond ring doesn't sell, I will put that in my gold jewelry. So once again, $10 for the um, uh, bits and pieces bag. And I gave you prices on everything. And um, anything that's left over after Friday will be going in the leftover bag. So, and it will go in a, it will go in a priority box, uh, bag and be sent to you and it'll be $9 shipping. So, um, it will definitely be over the, um, one pound. So, what did you think? I didn't think it was bad because this ring definitely saved us. And um, I think there's some interesting bits and pieces. Um, I love the um, glass faceted piece. That is, anytime you um, find um, faceted glass, I just love it. So hopefully everybody is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us and be sure to comment below. Tell us what you think of this um, Nashville, Tennessee Goodwill Blue Box. Everybody have a wonderful one and see you on the next one. Bye.